Good morning, Newman Smith. I'm Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where our mission is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready without remediation. Well, where in the Waldo is Dr. Jimenez? Well, I'm right in front of our, jo our Joe Weldon Pouncey Library, which, by the way, in just a few weeks will be closed for renovations. So what does that mean for you? Well, the very area that I am standing in will be walled up and our hallway between our two stairwells in the center of our building will be very small. And so when you come in in the morning, you'll have a way to get to the cafeteria. It will just be a very small hallway. And so we are super excited about these library renovations. The construction company has just finished our new area in the back, which no one has seen yet because it is still walled up. But I'd like to give a shout out to Stephanie, Luke, Kelly, and Alicia for helping us tour the Bond Oversight Committee last night. So in the future, or actually next school year, what will our school look like? Well, this will be the entrance in the back. It will be similar and match the entrance in the front of the building. So we'll have a brand new entrance in the back of our school. And you, as you can see here, it's called Innovation Alley, and that's really cool. So if you have a class in the new hubs, you actually already have a class in what we call Innovation Alley. And then what will our new library look like? Well, last year we had a team of about 12 scholars who helped us put together a vision for our new library. And um, this is just a vision of what you'll see as you come in the front. So you can see the, the book stacks over here. And we have a couple of other pictures. But our scholars wanted things like a technology wall. They wanted um, a gaming room for video games. They also wanted a, a bench stadium seating in case we had a guest speaker. And then here on this wall, which I think is really cool, all of our scholars wanted to design something that said Newman Smith is a place that brings our community together. And so this wall is kind of a picture of our neighborhoods and where we live. And so um, as you can see, it says stay connected. So I'm really proud of that scholar committee. But um, if you are coming in the building as of March the 1st, you won't be able to see any of this until at least June. And so we're super excited about the construction. Um, it's Friday today, and last night was an incredible musical. I mean, Crazy For You was just outstanding. We had a great senior night at wrestling, and then we also had, like I said, our bond oversight committee where the community came in to see the progress on our construction, which by the way, you guys are doing an absolute great job of making of making it livable while we're having progress with construction. Well, let's do a quick SAT word of the day. That is going to be doctrine. It's a noun. It means a principle, theory, or position. Um, it's advocated by a religion or government. So the sample sentence is, devoutly religious people often live their lives according to their doctrines. Well, if we have a principal theory or position at Smith, I'm telling you right now, it's absences do not work. Absences are not positive. We start absence makeup next week, so make sure you're attending every single class every single day. Um, we also have our quote for the day, and uh, I just, if you're wondering why I'm smiling so big, it's because look at all of our scholars that just came into school. Can y'all wave at them? If I just give them a wave. Yes, they're waving and watching us do the news today. So let's read the quote, and then maybe, just maybe, they'll help me close out the news today. So I just got some thumbs up. I really appreciate that. All right, well, we, um, we are one school here at Newman Smith. I want you to encourage your neighbor to come to school every day and to keep fighting the good fight. I hope you enjoyed the news yesterday with Dominique. I thought it was very inspiring. But um, our quote today is about acknowledging unity. Um, and Benjamin Franklin, uh, bless you. That was the loudest sneeze I've ever heard down the hall. Uh, we have a, a quote for the day, and we often read a lot from, from uh, our, our past presidents, but I, I love this quote by Martin Luther King Jr. Um, it says, we must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools. And so uh, I'm going to bring in all of our scholars to help me close out. Y'all ready? We love you. We think you're great. Remember, character counts. And you ready? Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.